Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're looking at some pads today. We're looking at the brand new HK Crash CTX elbow pads. Uh, so uh, I've got one on. This is a large that I'm wearing right now, and this fits me, fits me good, fits me nice, comfortable. Um, I would not go up a size on this one to an extra large, and I think that the size down would be very, very tight on me, but I really like the way this large feels. Um, we're kind of going to just go around the pad, get a look at it, get a feel for it, see what's going on with this pad. Um, something with these pads that I really, really like is how thin this front section around my wrist and the back side of the actual pad is. It offers a lot of mobility, a lot of breathability, and I can feel like I can rotate my hand and move it in all directions without any kind of resistance or feeling like my arm is stuck in like a tube, if that makes any sense, like a constricting neoprene sleeve. I don't feel that on here. This movement feels natural, it feels easy, um, and it feels comfortable. And I like how breathable and thin this mesh is. Now this front glove section right here, um, again, thin, but it has the silicone uh, layering on it or embossing or whatever they're putting it on there, however they're getting it, the sublimation, I don't know what they're putting it or how they're putting it on there, but it's on there. So you've got this uh, silicone running vertically this way and then some running horizontally in other directions on both the top and bottom. And I like that because if you're not a player who wears gloves, if you're just wearing these, this will give you a little bit of that extra grip either on the ground when you're trying to move or on your gun when, you're, when your gun's up. Um, I like having this bit of just tactile, uh, I don't want to call it stickiness, but grip, I guess, is the right word for it for whatever you happen to be doing. Now, this is thin enough where if you do want to wear a glove over the top of it, no problems. Put a glove on, you'll be fine, uh, but you don't need to. Uh, I would recommend picking these up though just for this because I see a lot of guys out there still playing with no gloves They're like oh, I don't like gloves I don't need gloves um, this is what happens that just healed right there and you've seen this over all the videos I've been doing lately I forgot to put my gloves on when I went out there first slide on the AstroTurf <laughs> there went my hand right there so um, that would have saved me right there if I had been wearing these should have been wearing them now as far as padding goes the backside is where all the padding's at. And you've got padding down at the front on both the underside of your forearm and on the straight back of your forearm right there. So all the way around, you've got it on the top and bottom and actually the, the pad going back. Nice large elbow pad right there. Easily cups and holds my elbow. I don't feel this wouldn't slip off in any direction, either front or back. Even if it moves this much, like you see right here, it's still over my elbow. So whether I'm diving, sliding, crawling, this is going to sit in my elbow pocket and uh, or my elbow is going to sit in the pocket, whatever way you want to look at it. And uh, it's not going to go anywhere. And I like that. If I was one size up, I might get too big of motion on there and it might come off. I wouldn't worry about it going off front to back, but side to side, I think I could rotate my elbow out of there if it was a bigger size. Um, then coming up to the top, we have a little bit more padding higher up on the top right here. Inside, on the cuff that goes around your bicep, there is more of the silicone beading on there to keep that tight. And it is elastic also at the top, so it's gonna you know go around there. But if you've got really skinny arms, really like stick arms, but you happen to be long armed, you know this might not um, touch your skin, I guess. So it's possible that this upper place, the upper cuff that goes around your bicep, might not do its job if your arms are too thin. Uh, but, you know, that's just kind of the trade-off for having skinny arms, I guess. Uh, you couldn't go down a size because then your pad would be too short. So you just have to deal with that. And plus, it is not adjustable. It is um, going to be a one-size-fits-most on that upper cuff right there. I like just the design. The printing on it looks great. Uh, it is, for an HK product, it's pretty subdued as far as flash and colors and things go like that. I'm sure we'll see other designs come out, uh, which will be a little bit more bright, a little louder, I guess. But as for the ones that I'm looking at today, this black with the blue dots and the white striping on it uh, is, I love it. I think it looks great. Uh, definitely pick some of these up. Crash CTX pads from HK. They are sublime to wear. I love it. I might wear them for the rest of the day.
Check them out on the website. Check sizes that are available. And with any kind of clothing and padding, if you can try it on or find a good sizing chart because um, if they don't fit you properly, they're not going to protect you properly. So HK CTX pads available through the website. Order them now through ansgear.com.